Hey guys, this is Iper speaking for the Dutch Damage Clan and today we're gonna take a look at, look at the map Flood Zone. Now, we're gonna break down this map in three different sections, so let's go ahead and get started with the first section. As you can see, the attackers have three different vehicles and that are two jeeps, one and one little bird and the defenders just have one AA gun. I do not really suggest taking the little bird but if you do watch out for that AA gun. Now as you can see the attackers have four different ways to go. I suggest heading to B first so taking the right path. But what you have to keep in mind is that there could easily be enemies in all these bushes and or even enemies at mounted the 50 cal. So you really gotta watch out for that. But as I said, let's take the right side and I brought a jeep with me and as you can see we just really dominate this and we don't really have a problem taking B this this is one of the objectives that is the uh, closest by our spawn and is the easiest to take now the A objective will be harder to take but once you've planted the bomb there are easy ways to make sure that they don't defuse that bomb as you can see these are pretty good spots to watch the A-bomb and give your friends cover that are going to arm the objective. If the bomb is planted feel free to chuck a nade over there, make it hard for the enemy to defuse that bomb. Now with this section closed let's go ahead and move to the other section. Now the second part is where the magic happens. The dam is going to break down if you, if you shoot it with RPGs and the dynamics of the map will change. Please make note that jeeps can no longer be used as you'll see right here. I kind of fail here but the attacking team will get access to the Venom which is a really useful tool. Tool, Please don't waste that flying machine because if you can hover around the objectives make your team spawn on you and it will make it a much easier job to take down these objectives. Now the B objective is on the roof and you have to take note that you are going to be very very much exposed on there. The enemy can see you from a various of different angles and if you don't watch your back you will be an easy target. Now the A objective is in a building and this objective is a bit easier to take but please take note that you're gonna have to stay out of the water as much as possible because you are gonna be very very vulnerable if you are out in the water even though you can use your pistol watch out for all the attack boats or the rip boats that are in the map and also when the water is there there are some buildings that can be accessed from diving let's move on to the third section of the map the third section of the map is at a parking lot and the A objective is going to be on the bottom of the parking lot and the B objective is going to be at the top of the parking lot. Now I suggest that you be very very carefully while running up on the level of the parking lot because the enemy will probably be watching you and make good use of those railings that are there. Make sure you use them as cover and peek your head out at first before running out in the open. And also if you are at the top of the parking lot you have a very clear space of everything that you can see. Uh, it gives you a huge advantage over the enemy. And yeah with that said Flood Zone is definitely one of my favorite maps. The gameplay and the map design are just very very good in this map. But that is all for now. If you did like this video please give it a like, comment rate, subscribe and follow us on Twitter. That's always appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching.